Jackson family is without their beloved pet pug tonight after they say it died from an attack by a pack of neighborhood dogs last month. Yeah, the victims say the dogs attacked or that were attacked were mm -hmm. given back to their owners, even though they say the dogs had proved to be dangerous. Three on your sides, David Kinney has their story. This pit bull was turned over to animal control officers Friday morning in North Jackson. A neighbor who knows the dog says it happened about a month too late. Vicious pit bulls, yeah, for sure. Dangerous. Jeremy Litton says the same dog and two others came into his fenced yard and viciously attacked his pet pug, Pugsley, on January 4th. I saw these three dogs, pit bulls, running around wildly in our yard, in our backyard, which is fenced in and the gate was closed. Litton says Pugsley was trapped, then attacked, then he was targeted when he tried to save his dog. And the three dogs came back and charged at me to the point where I had to jump in the back seat of my car. What happened next is hard for the Litton family to comprehend. The dogs were aggressive again towards the police, towards the animal control officers, and they just took them right back to their house and let them go. And we didn't know that until later on in the day, my wife called animal control. She spoke to Paul Perry, who's the supervisor there, and Paul Perry just told her that that was dogs being dogs. Sadly, Pugsley died one day later at the vet. Uh, necropsy lab that Mississippi State runs and got the report and, and the report is that he died from from the bites. Litton, an attorney, says city ordinances state the dog should have been collected immediately after the attack. Injury to a person or a domestic animal automatically by operation of law makes you makes the dog a dangerous dog. So these dogs were clearly dangerous dogs. It was an hour after we began calling the city asking why the pit bull and other dogs were given back to their owner. And one month after the attack, did we see the dogs being taken by animal control officers? City officials say results from an investigation into the incident have been sent to internal affairs for further review. They couldn't tell us what happens to the dogs collected Friday. Jeremy Litton says his family is traumatized and in mourning for their four-legged friend of 10 years. I want the city to know that Paul Perry is running animal control in a way that is letting dogs that are dangerous back on the street. In Jackson, David Kenny.